Try. No, not yet, Doc. We got one backwards. If they can't see you very well and you can't see them. 1508. Yep, she goes right back out in the pasture. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. In case you guys missed it, the first half of the fall 2023 working here at the Ponderosa. You can go back and watch it. Started off slow, had some challenges in the beginning of getting going, but we got Dunbar, Haas, and Eleanor taken care of. And then we started working our big Joe Herd with lots of females in that group. In part two, we got a couple of things to take care of. Number one thing we gotta do is catch some calves like these guys here, cause it's time for weaning. We gotta tag them, we gotta weigh them, and we're gonna give them their proper dewormer and vaccinations. Two, we gotta work all those females in the big Joe Herd. Big Joe's gonna wait till the last one to get worked and the other challenge is it's getting dark and it's getting dark fast. Three, as the red dogs are coming through, we gotta keep them safe being pushed around with the adults. Those little calves can get hurt during the working. So we've gotta sort through them. We gotta get the calves worked. We gotta get Big Joe worked with all the rest of his females and do it in a safe manner and sort out our animals. Cole and Matt have got so many cameras set up. We've got 10 different angles and a drone shot all of it so you can see basically the real-time working of what it's like working these animals so what footage you see today is all how we saw it and you're going to get it all from several different angles and it's all in order so if you want to be a fly on the wall at a bison ranch in southern oklahoma watch this so if you guys are just now watching this or you're new to our channel if you want to learn a little bit about bison ranching from a small ranch in oklahoma you can follow us along here, guys. Some people ask, what does work them mean? What does handle them mean? Why do we do this? The bison are not roaming on the North American Great Plains anymore. So people like myself, private ranchers, national parks, state parks that have bison, when you have bison pinned up in a fence, you've got to manage them. And one of the things that we have to do here in Southern Oklahoma is we have to deworm our animals twice a year once in the fall and once in the spring according to their weight and according to the dewormer they get a certain amount of dosage of dewormer to prevent them from the parasite load that exists and so we have to manage that every year because if we didn't our animals in this environment here in southern oklahoma in this southern part of the united states these animals would have a very tough time surviving we want our animals to be the healthiest they can be and this is something that we have to do every year to keep them in the best conditions as possible. Welcome to Bison Ranching. Let's get it going. Hurry up and wait. No. There was? Is there one in there? You can get ready. Remember it differently. Now this tag will apply to whichever one we tag. So what you want to do it or the next one? I didn't put a number. Yeah, the next one. Okay. Yeah, just. Okay. Yeah, she's good to go. Think so? Just a little bit. Uh-huh. 
ain't 35. This is the weight. Next, you got a pretty good cut on her eye. Who? Just next, you got a good cut on her eye. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they can keep going. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be dark real quick. Canada's are full. I put Dunbar with them with them this summer. But he was on a new pasture. Uh -huh. And that pasture hadn't been grazed since we bought the place. So that's probably where I figured. They got pretty good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Joe, that's yeah he'll come last that's yeah. just how he is oh i'm gonna sort her hey eli she's going that way hey this is flow so what her weight is she can go out, Doc. She's going that way, Chase. Okay. Oh. This is my next thing is doing all this the right way. Need about 20 more freestanding panels. You can't have enough of those things. To your pay? Huh? Except for you got a check? Yeah. That's four grand for 10. Uh, your opinion. I had a bunch. I had like a handful born in May. So I've got some. Like, would you 
Would you let this one stay out at 315 or keep it? Oh, the cows. They all look okay, except the little ones. If the cows are holding their weight, you can turn them back out. They're holding their weight. Okay. Sorry, I should. I'm... We can go ahead and tag it though. How about that? Let me see what we got here. Yeah, no, what you got is good. It's a heifer. You got her weight. So you, you, mean, you, you need to try to have these ready for oh, me. Jesse, I didn't. Yeah, you 350. That one is a new heifer. Yep. I didn't know if you were 350 is going to be on this. Uh, yeah, there's some here, Doc. Take this. Oh, one. you need the short one. Oh. Well, that had something else in it, didn't it? I, I haven't used it, Doc. Oh, okay. I, I haven't used, used it with the. Iron. Oh, I did. Is this new or? That looks new. Okay. But the needle is. Is it? Needle used. Uh, I can't tell. Is there crusts That's in there? Are these new? Used? That's new. That's this is new. This 18 is new. Yeah, but you don't know what's been in the syringe. Like, okay, let's wait, take this, this syringe. One, this one looks now. Where's those? Do you need some sort of... Oh my god. Can you just pop that open and I'll tag her real quick? Uh, okay. She can go out. It sure looks like. Sure. Looks good. Doesn't weigh a lot, but looks good. We had, we, yeah. Got two more little ones right here. Oops. I could probably wean that one. Yeah, she's quick. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. Is it a heifer, Doc? What'd you say? Bull! Bull! Remind me, we don't know what we're doing. Ours goes in it's here. okay. Not you go like. Dusty, what happened to your hand? Uh, the, uh, a needle. A needle? You have to straighten it out like this, kind of. And push that through? Okay. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so 351 is 370. It's a bull. It's a bull. Keeping him. Open this gate right here. Yes. For this little baby. Zero nine zero. Sorry. She weighs nine fifty five. Zero nine zero. Good doc. She's out. Okay. Yes, sir.
8,007. It's a grand champion. Quapaw. 1,080. That's a quapaw heifer. Ace. You already get up your drone up. Get a picture of this so we don't have to do it next. That's right. <laughs> the, the drone. It's pretty this time of the day. This is 137. Canada. Can Canada. 137. She weighs 895. She's good to go whenever you're done. Next, you know what I'm saying? One seventeen Canada. One seventeen Canada. You got two. Yeah. <laughs> What's in there? The little ones here behind the big one. You want me to poke it out? Because if, if he opens it, it'll go out too. That's why we got to get it back. I get in there and pull the thing back. Let me see that shot. Okay. There you go. You're good. You're good. Did you get her number? 1502? 1502, did you get her? Sorry, she's been sitting in there a minute. Is that one or the one that you flipped? No, that's her. What? Winging it? Uh-uh. Nope. Uh -uh. That one, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know the weight yet. Doc, yeah, she's good. That gate though in a yeah, yeah, I don't got, know. You can go ahead and open it, I guess. Got three more. And calves? Right there, look. Right there. Yeah. So that big three. one will probably go. The little ones will be kicked out. So you can go ahead and open, but he may run out. I'll watch. I'll stay there. Okay. <laughs> Here. Should be little. Yeah, 220. You see what it is. Wait, you got a tag? Bull. Bull. He's going to go back out. Chase, this one's going out. Too little. 352. 352. Sorry, I. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hold on, little turd. All right, we're gonna let that one go out. Probably so little. Late bloomer. <laughs> it sucks that they have them so spread out, you know.
Okay, okay. We're gonna you, we're gonna keep this one. Let me see what it is. Heifer weighs 380. It's all right, Chase. Yep. I'll get it. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, I sure do. Where's the? Uh, it's a heifer. It's a heifer. See that dusty? I can't get it to go. There it goes. Paper car. 254. Or 354. 354 heifer. Yep. And it's, uh, that's 385. Whose is that, Dusty? Well, I don't know. Oh. You have to pull hair on them to find out. I wish I could tell. Now, if you got as much experience as Doc, you probably could tell. About 13. Next year will be the year with all those Canada and South Dakota will be, you know, 30 plus, whatever it is. That's okay. That's a... Oh, yeah, this side. The our ones from South Dakota and our ones from Canada have two tags. It's okay. If you can get me a number, they sh they'll be the same number. The same. Yeah, they're the same. Huh? Yeah. Shoot. My bad. Yeah, it's coming. Fluffy little thing. Oh, dog's in the way. Chase, you got a dog on your back. Jackie! Jackie! Come here, Jackie! Two sixty-five. Two eighty-five. We'll tag this one. I don't know what it is yet, Stacy. I just say two eighty-five. That's how much it weighed. Two sixty. Oh. I didn't get it. Just whatever. Getting. I have to get my heifer. He's a phone for ladder reference. <laughs> heifer. 
Hey, girl. Okay. I know. That one coming that way? No, she's too little. Okay. She'll stay out. She's good, dog. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, Whisper. Whisper. Have you been getting them triangle? Uh-huh. Okay. He's on it. I'm not. Okay. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay, we're going to keep her. She's going to go to that pin so you can get that gate. With the ball, the top? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, you know what? Let's just put her in here. Yeah, you can use those if you want to cut them. Yeah. Texas 13. She's staying, she's staying here. Huh? Oh, no, uh-uh. Where do you want them? Where do you want them to go in? Who? It's okay. We'll just put her in here. You got that gate, Chase? Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Fifteen oh eight. Yeah, she goes right back out in the pasture. Someday, someday I'll have one of these and. You know, you'll, you'll come down here. Yeah, yeah, you can. And pull a disc right here with the light. I mean, I I know, I wish I'd have done something to you keep it going. Tahoe up here with light I don't, or put a vehicle there to make them keep going. I mean, what do you like think? You can see too. Yeah. Oh, I can see. It's just 113 Canada. It's, uh, I can't see if it's a bull or ever. I have to pull out my phone. You want to turn the lights on right? I can park the right here, shining this way. I I don't them. care. Are you good with light? Do we need any light or are we okay? He's okay. Not right yet. Not ready? Yeah. She's good, Doc. Yes, sir. Light blinds them. It blinds them? Yeah. That's why I was asking. Normally they turn and go, but they're kind of being... Hey, we can we can sort those later. Hey, take them all. I'm gonna try to get them all, then we'll get them back in and sort them kind of thing.
8,006. That's a quapaw heifer. There's two little, there's two or three little ones coming in. Yes, sir. She's good. There's a bunch of little ones in this one. Like yours. Is this yours? Okay. The sponsor? Yeah. Okay. What's this one? I'm glad you did. It's Peter Cole 2, PK2. Zero eight two. She's awesome. uh, yes, sir. Texas 11. Yes. Wow. Uh oh. <laughs> 10 and 7. She's one of my biggest ones. Yeah, Chase, he's going there. Hey, when you open it, just walk this way. Maybe they'll stay in there. Now, yeah, you're right there. You're good, Chase. Yeah, we'll get her. Hey, 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 hey! Whoa, whoa. Marissa. The cab, 180. 180? Yeah. I don't know what it is, though. Bull! 
Going. He's going out. Okay. Too little? Too little. Are you vaccinated? No. No? Yes, he did. He already does it. It's going out. Yeah. Oh, there. Poke him in the butt. Poke him in the butt and you'll, it'll turn him. Oh, it's, it's getting hard to see. Thirty-two, Texas thirty-two. Weighs eleven hundred and thirty-five pounds, Texas thirty-two. She came. Somebody, whoever tied her up, she came loose. Sorry, sorry, Marshall. I didn't know you were there. She's out. Little bitty. Yeah, it can go out. That's hers, yep. Born in October. Fifteen oh five. When I get it, I'll tell you. There's moving in here and it's dark. <laughs> Not really.
What ended up happening was we didn't get about five females vaccinated. And so I said, okay, well, we'll just dart them and we'll call it a night. So I didn't want anybody to be in danger or take the risk of getting hurt. And plus you didn't want the animals getting hurt as well. So we had to call it short. And so here's the reasoning why some people may say, well, why did you get started so late? You know that the sun sets a little earlier. Yes, we do know that. So I want you guys to know that we currently rent a hydraulic squeeze chute, the big blue squeeze chute from Doc Parsons. He's our vet based out of Stratford. We rent it from him because we don't have one here yet. Now we've, we've got some things in the background that's going on where we're gonna try to get our own squeeze chute here at the Ponderosa so we don't have to hire Doc to bring his system down. We're so very thankful. I want people to know that we're so very thankful that Doc is down the road and that he even does bring his system down and sets it up here and works it and works our animals. It's so nice and convenient to that. And we pay him for basically the transportation and the work that goes into that. Well, Doc is a busy guy. He works a sale on a Saturday and we typically work our bison on a Saturday. Well, he has a lot of other stuff going on, so he'll bring it down once he's done with his other job. And that's what he's done in the past. Well, he got down there a little late, and then we have to set up our freestanding panels according to where his system is, because he has to pull it in and get it all set up, and then we build to him. And so, uh, it got a little late. We had a really slow start um, with Eleanor and getting all of that going and working her safely. So then we couldn't catch the animals and we had those problems going on. So it was a very slow start, which kind of pushed us back probably about 30 minutes actually. Sometimes that's the way it goes. Well, it's winter time. It's that time of the year where the sun is setting a lot faster and uh, the good thing is, is it was a very beautiful scene, the sun going down, a beautiful sky, but it got dark and it got dangerous. And so we had to stop working the bison, unfortunately. I appreciate all of the people that come and help, all of our friends, Jake, his wife, Tierra was here for the first time, Marshall, Mark, bringing Moe's on that last minute decision, <laughs> bringing a horse in instead of on foot, Kevin, Marissa, Stacy. Chase, Doc, his wife helped, Eli and Jerry, a lot of people that are involved. And then uh, Cole, of course, a good friend of ours, Cole, that comes and helps film every now and then, always comes to the workings and help film. Chandler couldn't make it this year, but Cole was here filming. And then also uh, we brought in a friend named Matt. Matt came in, Matt was actually helped us round all the bison up. He was a horseback whenever we did that. Thank you guys.